Well, welcome back to Flare Fires. Today I'm going to show you how the rotisserie accessories work on your flare outdoor fireplace. Let's get into it. So over the years we've tried various different uh, rotisserie options uh, because of, we, we don't make the motors. Uh, we used to use a, a black motor on the end of our, as our rotisserie motor. Now we use this ep, es, Espritosol one. Nobody can say it, um, but that's it, it's from Italy. And um, we found it really good. So that's what we're using. And, um, but if you have a black motor rotisserie, it might fit already with our system if you happen to have one lying around that you're not using. So bear that in mind. But today I'm gonna to show you how it works, pretty much, it's pretty simple. Um, so what you're going to need is a swing frame, just literally drop the swing frame in there and then you're going to need to order the rotisserie brackets off us, it comes with the rotisserie. You've got a front bracket that sits on the front like so and that acts as a guard for the motor and a back bracket that sits in there like that and that just captures the end of the rotisserie rod and literally your rotisserie just sits in there like so. Now with the, uh, this Espitosol one, the word that I cannot say, um, it doesn't sit in there unless you've got meat on it. But you don't want to use it without meat. So if you wonder why that just wants to hang off it, it's because you need to put meat or vegetable if you want. I don't know if people rotisserie vegetables, it's possibly been done, um, but I recommend meat. You swing it in, turn it on, and away you go. Now you'll notice there's no grill plate or hot plate in there. You want to have your embers directly under that. So you want an ember poker. It's quite tricky when you're holding the non-meat rotisserie on. But yeah, you just drag your embers in underneath there. You don't need lots of embers with a rotisserie. That's the really cool thing. You have your fire going on one side. You drag a few embers under. Keep an eye on it. Monitor it. See how quickly it's cooking. Then just drag a few more under there. And typically when you're cooking a rotisserie, um, you're cooking types of meat that you don't need to get perfect, um, it's okay. And you can kind of just leave them. You can go and mow the lawn so a little bit, just sort of monitor the fire. And um, because it cooks on its own, you can go and have a beer or wine or whatever and relax. So that's how you do it. Um, if there's any questions, um, just yell out to the team. I should mention, if you want to put two rotisseries on, you can actually fit two side by side here on the same swing frame, or you can put another swing frame on and do it like that as well. Hope that's been helpful. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Catch up.